Hospice in Roseburg opens up for operation once again, but David Springer reports it's now located in a new residential part of town. The Ruby House, a level three adult foster home for people with AIDS, has opened its doors once again. But this time the doors were to a new house on Laurel Springs Drive in Roseburg. Controversy has surrounded the Ruby House since its new location was announced to be in this residential neighborhood. But since moving in last week, there hasn't been any problems from the neighbors. A couple of our neighbors have come over, one to welcome us. She brought us a cake. Another neighbor came over. She had some questions and some concerns. I showed her around the house and addressed the issues that she raised, and uh, that was to her satisfaction. The Ruby House depends on service payments through the state, grants, and individual donations in order to operate. Previously, the Ruby House had been located in Winston and then the Mercy Medical Center. But Russo says with this new location, they can cultivate one of their strongest assets, volunteers. It was difficult to get people to come out to Winston on a regular basis. That 13-mile drive was just too much. It was a barrier. Uh, now that we're in Roseburg, our volunteer pro program is starting to grow again. The house has five bedrooms, two bathrooms, and much more room than any of the other locations. And Russo says they couldn't have found a more adequate house for the services it provides. But Russo states that the idea behind Ruby House is to encourage and help other similar services. Uh, our goal is not to warehouse people with AIDS, but to set an example for other foster homes and to encourage other foster homes to start taking people with AIDS. Right now there's a home in, in uh, Green that has two clients that have HIV and we help them with volunteer services and, uh, and other resources whenever they need it. Currently there are only three clients living here at the Ruby House, but Russo says they won't take any more than five AIDS patients at one time. As we said earlier in this story, there has been some opposition to the Ruby House locating here in this neighborhood, but Russo is hoping that with time, those who oppose it can learn to understand and accept it. In Roseburg, I'm David Springer for Northwest News.